Alrighty, welcome back. No recording or audio issues this time. And she checks the mic setting. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are recording. <laughs> the fear in your eyes. <laughs> Just like, oh god. Don't yeah. jinx us. Honestly. Um, okay, so now what's our goal? We gave Matoya her eye. We got a jolt potion. Mm -hmm. What's that for? The potion is to wake up our sleeping prince. Oh. Mm hmm You're like, oh, that's boring. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just like, oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so where is he? The elf kingdom. Hey, where's that? All the way back where I was. Yeah, where's that? On a different continent. <laughs> Peter Pan. Where's your boat? I have to go to the port. I went to the- I probably could have gone to a closer port. I think there is one closer to Matoya's place, but I default went to Kakova. Cool! Because who doesn't love just the incredibly high random encounter rate? Yeah. Not me! Yeah. I mean, actually I do because, like, you need it in the game. Like, yeah. you need to fucking fight or else you're gonna get your ass handed to you on a silver platter. But, but it's okay. It's okay. Look at the Sahagi. Look at the Sahagi. I sure hope they like thunder. Boy, howdy. Yeah. I hope these water types. <laughs> My uh, favorite is how you just get adopted by a Sahagi in Fort Trump. Yeah, I haven't done that plus one yet. So, I've heard rumor. I haven't either, but I still love it. It's my favorite. For once, Wool is not the adoptee, but the adopted. You know, it they deserve it. Yeah. Wool deserve one parent. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll leave. Uh, go in. Woo, Elf Castle. Let's go. Where is he? Rise and sign, motherfucker. That's how you say that. Yep. The prince is snoozing. Here. Talk to his attendant here. This jolt tonic may be just what we need to break the curse and awaken the prince. I will try it at once. Boom. Your highness? Your highness! I was having a terrible nightmare. Am I still dreaming? Can you imagine being knocked out for five years and waking up and like, you don't have any idea how much time has passed. You're just suddenly five years older. Yeah. You... you're the legendary warriors. Something tells me I'm not dreaming. I would lose my shit. I shall follow the legend it has been told to me. I shall follow the legend as it has been told to me and my forefathers. Thank God someone told you before you fucking conked out. The time for me to pass on the mystic key to its rightful owners has come at last. Okay, I had... I, I had it mixed up who had the key, the good elf or the bad elf, but whatever. <laughs> you obtained the mystic key. So, the elf... Kingdom is basically the stupid fucking idiots who said every door gets the same fucking yeah. lock with the one key. I am awake and strong again, all because of you. Thank you, warriors of light. He says, also, I'm like wrinkly in places I wasn't before. How long was I out? Yeah. Thanks to you, the prince has finally awoken. You have my undying gratitude. You've brought peace back to Elfheim. Yeah, but the winds still don't blow, and the seas forever rage, and the earth dies, and yeah, something I, like that. Something, yeah. I think there's something with fire? Question mark. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, all the elements said, "Fuck you." Yeah, basically. Oh, the treasure room. The treasure room. The treasure room. The treasure room. Go 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 the ostrich is feeling about this. Mithril hammer obtained from the chest. Oh god, that's a lot of chests. Yeah. Myth P don't fuck around. Like, this episode is just going to be me stealing shit from everyone now. Oh, cool. Uh, theft. Yep. I mean, is it really theft? I have the key now. Like... Yes. I'm sorry. Yes? Does our healer just wield a hammer? Yeah. In the uh, earlier games, the like the main weapon for healers are hammers. Hammers and staffs. I love 
that. Yeah, when are we gonna get that in 14? Thanks, bye. That's the new healer class that they're gonna release in 6.0. Oh it's gonna just be Hammer. <laughs> it's just gonna be called Hammer. <laughs> yes! What would be the name for something like that? I am curious. I don't know, what the fuck kind of healer is a Hammer? Uh, an OG. I... A fucking OG? I... Like, I know people are vying for, like, Necromancer and Chemist as the new healers. But I'm just saying, I think Hammer's a pretty solid class. You really do just gotta come up, like, if you want this to happen, you gotta really up the PR. You've gotta come up with a better name than Hammer. I'm no, sorry. No, no, I think Hammer is a perfect name. No, this is our child. You can't name it that. It will get bullied. <laughs> child <laughs> okay uh i mean what would a healer with a hammer do hit things with a hammer yeah, we call how, them... would they, how would they heal oh my god can we call them bob the builders bob the builders yeah we can call I them bobs that. bobs we can call them bobs yeah, the four healer classes in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> White mages, astrologians, uh, scholars, and bobs! <laughs> okay, I love how I was like, you can't name it Hammer, people make fun of it, and then I immediately go, let's call it fucking Bob the Builders. <laughs> name them Bobs. Oh, oh my god, I mean, it's on brand for you, but... Bobs. Um, no, how would they heal with a hammer? That's what I want to know. How would they heal with a hammer? However they do it in this game, which is just fine. Which is just with white magic, because they're a white mage. Yeah. We can't just have white mage 2.0! Oh, you're talking like lore. Um, you know, that's a great question. They're surgeons. They're surgeons? They're surgeons. What? I just really, um, need to take a moment to process the idea of a surgeon being an active duty healer in 14. And it's spelled like the old-fashioned way you spell surgeon, where it's like C-H-I-R-G, what is it, U-R-G? Well, those already exist in 14! Oh, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, surgeon. It's fucking annoying, but like, that's how you <laughs> pronounce it. You know, that makes a lot of sense! <laughs> Because that's uh, not how I thought it was pronounced. Uh, that's fair. Wow. It's wow, kind of they, misleading. They, they literally. Wow, okay. Wow, you're just blowing my mind in all sorts of ways today, huh? Aw, thanks. I, I'm pretty uh, smart. Wow. I was over here pronouncing it chirurgeon. <laughs> it's all those AP English classes I took in <laughs> high school. Yeah. Boom, I can finally come in here and, like, fight. Snick. All these anacondas. All these snick. I want to know what their teeth are made of if they're making that fucking sound. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's probably them hitting our armor. Got it. Uh. Wow. Okay, but your surgeons already exist. Yeah. Like, they're already a thing. But, like, master surgeons. I don't know how good that would be. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like I'm not feeling it. Sounds pretty lame. Okay. Out of curiosity. Between Necromancer and Chemist. What do you think would be the more interesting healer? Um. I don't really know the background on I either of them. Literally like the concept between them. I think that, I guess, in terms of, like, as a healer, a necromancer sounds pretty cool, just because it plays with this idea of, like, life and death, and you wouldn't expect a healer to be a necromancer. Um, but I also kind of think the idea of, like, a chemist would be cool, and I think it would also be cool if it was tied to, like, the alchemist quest line. So, like, you actually have to be, like, leveled in your alchemy to do it, which I think would be pretty neat. 
people would bitch about it, but like. Oh yeah, people would bitch about that. Imagine having to level a crafter to unlock a healer. <laughs> yeah. People would lose their shit. Oh, I would lose my shit, and I've already got it to a lady. <laughs> uh. Hey, like. I will say, with the new dungeon that came out, the fact that there's a necromancer wool in it. I'm just saying. There's a necromancer wool? Yeah, it's the second fight. Hmm. The sexy lady. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. She's a necromancer. Did you not catch that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't remember her, period. You don't remember her, don't you? Well, no, no, no. Like, I remember her now that you said it, but, like, when you were just like, yeah, the necromancer and the fight, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, that alone was not enough for me to remember her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like also, I want to know yeah. her story. Yeah, that's true. Is she a wall in like the void? I don't know. I just want to know what her story is because she's um she's probably not from the void. Fair. I want to know what her story is because she's like going off about being on this tainted path and like blah blah blah. I think that she's a shard of Etta. Oh, you know what? That's totally possible. Also, you. I don't want 14 spoilers. Also, okay. Aaron. This has nothing to do with the main plot. This is me being like a shard of a character that... But just the fact that you're talking about shards in general. Jill, cut me! <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's like such a ingrained part for me now. Mm -hmm. Ow. Which fucking door? Do you know what? Actually, it. Jill, don't cut any of it. Leave it all in. Just everyone who's listening to us has to suffer. Put yeah, like, I mean, just, also you just have to do, 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 with... do what Ashley said. Put like a warning saying, "Hey, there's gonna be spoilers for a little bit." Don't mind us. Yeah, and I mean, because if she has to cut it, she also has to cut the visual, too. And so it's like, all right, now we're here. Like, I'm yeah. not fucking recapping every two seconds because you yeah. want galaxy brain on 14. <laughs> okay, yeah, just a spoiler warning, I guess. <laughs> um, but no, for, I think she's a shard of Etta because, like, A, necromancy. B, going off about her love. Mm. I, I just think that she's a shard of that ex. It's quite possible. And Etta was I'm about to make a, a tweet. Etta kind of was like a big-ish deal in A Realm Reborn. Not like super big deal, but like she was one of the more prominent like side plots, I feel like. Or at least one of the more interesting, you know. I don't know. There's like, a level 80 quest where you can get closure with them. Oh, nice. Is it a level 80 quest or is it just the end of the, uh... I don't remember. There's a quest somewhere where you get closure Like with the them. end of Palace of the Dead? Because I was going to say... No. No. <laughs> it's not the end of Palace of the Dead. Um, I'm very It's with Pyorea. Pyorea? Is that his name? I, Whatever uh, Lollafell was in oh that group. Lord, you know, I literally took a one. step. Did you see that yeah. shit? Yeah. They said they called for reinforcements and they were a little late. Yeah. Just a few steps behind. Yep. I love the Etta subplot so much. Yeah. Like, they deserve better, but they did a really good job with it. Yeah. Also, uh... Tamtara Hard? Oh, I still need to do Tamtara Hard. I haven't done it. You need to do Tamtara Hard. Yeah. Like, you need to do Tamtara Hard. Good shit. Yeah, I like it. Like the first time I went into that dungeon, I'm really glad I did it unsynced by myself because mm. I just went exploring. I was ooing and awing at every room, just yeah. like, wah. Wah. <laughs> yeah. He's doing crazy. That's what I, I kind of want to redo like the earlier dungeons unsynced. Mm -hmm. Because they did add in like little notes and things like that throughout the dungeon that make it really cool. Yeah. Um, and I kind of wish that they would do stuff like that again. 
where like dungeons are kind of more maze-like and you do have to like work your way through it because it's a dungeon, you know? I will but... say the more maze-like dungeons are remnants of 1.0. No, yeah, I know. And they're kind of trying to avoid doing anything with 1.0. <laughs> yeah, they said everything burned. They're traumatized by they it, really which is are. honestly fair. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, fair. It was a huge, like, money sink. Not as bad as um, some other endeavors that they've tried to do, but... Still. Yeah. Like, the worst thing I think Square has tried to do was do uh, Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't know what that is. It is the movie that they made, and it almost single-handedly um, put the company under. You know, maybe it's a good thing the 14 live action isn't happening. Yeah. Because there's been no news on that. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're in Elfheim. Good place to take a break. Yeah, we're gonna chill out. We're gonna rest up. Yeah, rest up. Get things going. And then we'll see you guys see next, you time. next time. Bye. Bye.